um, really like so, almost showing off. So hair conscious hair. in this movie. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Right? It was pretty fun. There were so many characters. She was blow drying her hair. Yeah. It was like, Pixar was like, take that. And, and the other character with the blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. She's like, it's coming across. Yeah. 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 So it's really neat. It's Void. The, yeah. Right. So I love the fact, that, and you know, they say Pixar movies is for the entire family. Can I talk about how this is for the entire family? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting how sophisticated both Incredibles movies are. And I, I, I think that so many people respond to that, 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 that first off, Pixar, they, they operate at such an incredibly high level mm -hmm. uh, of, of, uh, of ability and they push the envelope. Uh, they, they go where no man has gone before, you know, those animators. Um, so uh, you, you have that, but then I also think that there are lots of children that live inside Brad Bird, so he, he gives license yeah. to all of them through, uh, through all of us. And in yeah. fact, all the characters are children, yeah. um, including Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. Uh, and so I think that's very appealing. To, and plus, they recognize their own families. Yeah. They're the family dynamics, the, the, the push and pull, the adolescence, the, the infancy, yeah. The, you know. Yeah. So it's a, even though it's been that kind of time period, thir what, 13, 14 years, right. but right. do you guys feel like now you're kind of a little family of the Incredibles? Now you're known to kids as the Incredibles, so. Yeah, it, and it's uh, it's just a testimony to what Pixar is able to do things that nobody else can do. I, I, I just you reminded me as you're talking about Brad had told me that on the initial film, on the first one, they couldn't get Violet's hair right. It wouldn't animate properly, mm -hmm. and they were having a really difficult time. In fact, there was at one point a meeting to go ahead and cut that character out because they couldn't get the hair right. And one of the animators up there, one of the guys said, no, let me take it home over the weekend and I'll work on it. Well, he did, and he came back with this brand new program which had Violet's hair correctly. And I thought in this movie they were like, they were like um, really like so, almost showing off. So Violet's hair conscious hair. in this movie. It was great, <laughs> yeah, right? It was pretty fun. There were so many characters. She was blow drying her hair. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, Pixar was like, take that. And, and the other character with the blue hair? <laughs> right, right, right. She's like, it's coming across. Yeah. 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 So it's really neat. It's void. The, yeah. Right. The technology, the differences. And right. Stuff. So I also loved, I'm a new mom, so I loved the kind of statement about motherhood. Can you talk about the statement of motherhood? Well, it's funny, the, the statement of fatherhood, too. With, right. With, Both. With, with, you know, the <laughs> sleeplessness. The, sleep, the, the fact that Jack-Jack keeps waking up and he's like, you know, reanimated in the middle of the night when he's supposed to be asleep. I mean, it's just, that's so recognizable. Yeah. That thing, and you're just like dead, dead, dead on your feet. Yeah. Um, and you kind of have to get over your ego. In the <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, he has to supplement it. It has to become secondary. What, what What's the most important thing? That she does a great job and that I prove that I can be a good dad. Yeah.